How important do you think I racing e racing is to the future of NASCAR? Sure. I mean, I, you just look at the the what I was talking about before with the LA Coliseum. They made that track on i racing. Uh, if if these guys want to go and get some practice on on Wednesday morning, that track's going to be available for the public to go and download, and um, they they can get a you know a somewhat of a feel of of what that track might might race like they they've done the same thing for bristol uh when they put dirt on it they did the same thing for daytona road course when they put the turtles uh, off a of turn four they've done the same thing for for circuit of the Mer circuit of the americas awesome. yeah. um they you know when when there are track reconfigurations like atlanta that's coming up they work together with iRacing as well in that in yeah. in getting that together the next gen nascar cup car was created in part with help from iRacing to, to try and get a feel for it before one of those cars even ever hit the track. So it was, you know, the, the technology is there. And I believe it was it was Kyle Busch who, who had said at one point that it's about 70-30, where it's about 70% of the actual feeling that you'll get in a race car. Of course, you're not going to get the, the movement that you get in the seat of the car. I mean, I mean, you could get a motion rig, but I mean, it's not going to be completely accurate. Um, Lateral horses, you know. I mean, yeah, yeah, but still, and 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 to hear you say seventy thirty, it, it, that's, you know, I was kind of thinking to myself, you know, the how how hundred percent, you know, how accurate, and uh, man, that's pretty cool for Kyle Busch to say seventy thirty. That's amazing, really. Yeah, I, I don't remember where or when he said that, but I just I, I remember that sticking in my head hearing him say it mm -hmm. once um, a, around the time that the Pro Invitational was happening. So um, it's it's definitely there. And, and a lot of these guys that, that are getting on the service um, are, are definitely taking advantage of it. I, I remember I was taking uh, some photography pictures for Ryan Vargas last year. Uh, when he was going in to go to Homestead for the first time. Mm -hmm. And he was getting right up against the wall, trying to see how that car would react up in the top lane around around that track. And um, he was telling me, like, there's no practice going on right now. There's no qualifying. My first lap is going to be the in first the lap of the race. So I need to get some type of feeling for this car before I get in there. And, and right now, that only avenue is iRacing. So um, it's, you know... It, of course, now with practice coming back, that's that's going to change a little bit. Um, but, I mean, they can still, before they show up to the track and get on the track for the first time for the practice lap, maybe have a little bit of an idea through these programs like iRacing. 